Alright, so questions 12 and 13 of the GED practice test. Let's look at number 12 first. We're going to be using this circle chart here. Let's go and look at the question. The number of ninth graders attending the high school in 2014 is expected to be 20% greater than the 2012 total. So this is 2012. Okay. How many ninth graders are expected to be at the high school in 2014? This could be another fill-in-the-blank question on the GED test. Too. Okay, so this is just a reminder. Okay, so we want to find the number of ninth graders expected to be at the high school in 2014. So right now, ninth grade constitutes 30% of the population, and the total population of students is 1,200. So in order to find what number ninth grade represents, we need to find... 30% of 1,200 by multiplying times 0.30. So 1,200 times 0 0.30 equals 360. So there's currently, or not currently, but in the year 2012, there were 360 students. Now, if it's going to be 20% greater in 2014, we need to find and add another 20% onto this. So let's find what 20% of 360 is by, again, multiplying times 20% or 0 0.20, so 360 times 0 0.20 is 72. So the total amount of students is going to be 360 that accounted for the 2012 population plus the additional 20% which was 72. So that's going to be 2, 13, 4. So our answer is B, 432 students. All right, number 13. What is the measure of the central angle created by the sum of 9th and 11th graders? Okay, so let's go back up and look at this. We're looking for the central angle here. So 9th and 11th, I'm going to go ahead and identify the central angle here. So we're looking for this much here. This total angle measure represents 41%. So we need to find, if you think about what's a total circle, it's 360 degrees. Oops, not percent. 360 degrees. So what is 41% of 360 degrees? Well, again, we multiply by the decimal 41%. So 360 times 0.41 equals 147.6. So now let's go back down to our answer. A, 147.6.